Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Today I'm doing a review of Doctor Who Vengeance on Varos. Um, this is the special edition copy that I have here. We have the Doctor Who logo there, we have the BBC newish logo there, uh, Colin Baker there, the Colin Baker years, 1984 to 86, uh, 2 disc, PG, um, special edition, you've got the 6th Doctor there, you've got Syl there, and you've got Perry there as well. Um, then on the spine you've practically got all of the same sort of information uh, of Doctor Who calling Vengeance Virus Special Edition PG and BBC. Uh, then on the back you've got the special features as well as the um, writer and the synopsis as well as the uh, row of screenshots and whatnot. Then on the inside you've got the uh, booklet as well as the discs and the disc art even so yeah um what did i think of vengeance and varus um i think if you're a new doctor who fan or like mainly only watch new who and new doctor who um i think this would be a really good sort of starting off point or jumping on point to the classic series i think in so much as it's um a two part story that's 90 minutes total so 45 minutes each uh, i guess um i think some of the parts could have been, well, some of the parts at the beginning, uh, sort of part one could have been trimmed down a bit with the parts of the TARDIS, or the bits inside the TARDIS and that, like, basically the setup is that basically the TARDIS isn't working and that, and it's kind of like Boomtown, um, but as I say, it's just a little bit drawn out. Another criticism that I have of this story is that I'm... <laughs> Well, just generally of the Sixth Doctor and old Perry, and at least in the first season they both are starring, is so much as that they always butt heads, which is fine, but for the fact that, like, then it just always makes me feel like, well, why doesn't the Doctor just, like, kick her off the t kick her out of, out of the TARDIS, as it were, or why doesn't she ask to leave, or whatever. It's always been very, um, odd to me. There is one nice scene in the TARDIS, um, uh, uh, or part in the TARDIS, should I say where Colin Baker's Sixth Doctor like strokes the little uh, cat like um, uh, button that he has or pin that he has on his like lapel, which I was like, because he apparently did that so as though to get as uh, as though the Doctor would uh, be wishing for good luck, which I was like. Um, even though this is like a, a 1980s story, um, the visual effects are actually quite good, I think. Um, with the bit with the like giant fly and obviously the bit with uh, Perry being like transformed into this like bird creature as well as Sill. Sill looks pretty amazing really um, and is probably one of the best uh, original Doctor Who monsters well, uh, towards the latter end of the classic series other than the only other one that I can think of is the Destroyer. But honestly, I'm surprised Sill hasn't come back in the new series. He's that good in terms of, like, the practical effects, really. Um, as well as the performance as well. Um, the cliffhanger to part one is really good. It's a really good um, cliffhanger, the way it ends, the way that, you know, it's um, kind of, uh, is it meta or, or whatever the... It, it's almost like it breaks the fourth wall even um, in so much as the part where the Doctor is in trouble is actually being filmed in the uh, like death dome thing or whatever it's called um, and then the general dude's like cut it here and then it's like uh, Sills like la, 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 and that and then, um, and then yeah and then it like zooms in and then it cuts and then it's like Bew! and then you know the Doctor Who thing <laughs> starts playing um, and that um yeah, I think I think Colin gives a pretty decent performance here, or a pretty g good a good uh, performance here. If I'm not mistaken, I think in the commentary he said something about um, not obviously either not doing the, uh, uh, the stunt part with that like hanging uh, part in uh, part two, or if not, um, either he didn't do it or he was very worried about doing it like he either did do it or didn't i can't quite remember um but yeah the costume designs are really good as well on like all the guards and all the different uh characters and people and whatnot um and then the music's pretty decent as well it's basically like bad wolf parting of the ways but without the daleks um and that i think pacing wise it is a lot more slower than say that story i think personally um however i guess we get a a bit more of a sense of this sort of dark twisted world I guess um with these two like sort of bickering 
uh, sort of man and woman characters uh, and that throughout the story as well as a, it's a bit of a commentary on these things called the video nasties as well and that and how <clears throat> excuse me, how these people are just sort of uh, relishing in this sort of uh, c consuming of these horrible like uh, tortures and, and murders and, 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 and whatnot, as well as this like sort of uh, exploration into how this like democratic system is just broken and, and, and that and, uh, and, and, and stuff and, and yeah it's just it's really d disturbing and twisted and dark and, and although I might not like like lots of like dark violent stuff in Doctor Who all the time. I think if if it's used, uh, I think to use it well is to to need it to tell a good story. And I think that Van Vengeance on Varos is a example of that. I think um, you know using violence for the sake of it is there's no point to it. So I think that's when I don't like it personally in any form of media. But if you're using it to tell a certain story or or to help push a narrative uh, and or the bigger picture and the story you're telling then yeah fine use it if if needs be um it's weird how uh the director of the story ron um what's his name ron jones um d does really well with the end cliffhanger of part one as i say it's really good um uh sort of shocking cliffhanger and then and then x amount of minutes in uh, sort of 10-15 minutes in uh, part two he kind of stumbles in so much as there's that infamous terrible scene where most people take it out of context that the sixth doctor and or colin baker's doctor you know push that guy into the vat of acid um but the annoying th thing is is as i say it's just poorly directed because the guy who's already in the vat of acid actually takes his hand and grabs the other guy and 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 pushes him in or or pulls him in even should i say um the the doctor's just using this like board uh as to try and protect himself and then he makes all these sort of this like like you know stupidly funny um joke of like oh don't mind if i don't join you sort of thing uh which i thought was funny um yeah, Perry is just sort of there. I can't really say much about her, really. Um, I think her and the and one of the other leadery people have some decent dialogue, uh, and whatnot, and um, and that. And unfortunately, I can just never really connect that much, or at least from what I've seen, at least on the TV or televised stories that I have got in my collection and that I've seen of Perry and the Sixth Doctor, I can never really get on board with both of them as uh, together as a unit as it were because they both always seem to be at each other's throat and blunt and, and uh, sort of yeah butting heads basically and so I never get what either the other person gets out of the relationship of them being with each other so um, and that personally, um, Sill, as I say, is phenomenal, really good character, um, to the point where, again, I'm surprised he's not in the new series, and that, um, yeah, I mean, I just, maybe, it's a decent two-parter, it just, uh, there are little bits here and there, like some chase sequences and some little bits that do drag and, and that, and there is a character who just basically is like a bit of a Robert Holmes almost tribute act kind of character in so much as he's got like a bit of a deformed face, i.e. like uh, uh, characters from episodes such as Talons of Wang Chang or Caves of Andrew's Army, um, and that which were both Robert Holmes uh, stories and that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good sort of uh for lack of a better term black mirror esque sort of dark stingy um sort of post apocalyptic almost mad max esque sort of uh uh sort of looking uh, uh the the a uh, uh, really dark twisted future of like yeah as i say people just sort of consuming video nasties and 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 that and this warp dark twisted world and and um and how like the people at the top are just uh, the democratic system and or uh, democracy or democratic system at the top is just sort of flawed and broken and whatnot and uh yeah it's it's, it's a really it is a fun for the most part fun uh energetic uh sort of story and and that and although i have a few criticisms here and there and there are fl flaws here and there i do think it's one of the strongest um uh televised six doctor and or colin baker stories i have in my collection so far then again i only have four of those so yeah um overall i'd give vengeance virus a well-earned 10 out of 10 um thanks for watching
comment, rate, and subscribe.